And welcome back to Jeff Kanange Live here at Susan Television. My goodness, I've never seen so many people asking so many questions. Is that how, what you did to the people, especially here at Citizen? People never watch my show here. <laughs> they do. No, you aren't watching. <laughs> Alex Murungi never watches. Look at him here. What is he asking? I'm saying he has okay. a land matter. <laughs> so he says his dad, yes. Zablon Murungi, wants to know what happens to land that has been grabbed by cartels, subdivided into small plots, and sold. Wow, subdivided and sold. Mm. Now, when we come to the process of data cleaning, where the, this uh, digitization program has different phases. We finished the infrastructure setup for the whole country, so that is set. As we go to the counties, what we'll be doing is dealing with geospatial data and non-spatial data. Geospatial data is the data of survey, the, 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 the ground yeah. data. Yeah. Non-spatial data is now uh, records uh, to do with the uh, planning, to do with the uh, valuation, to do with registration. So that is the data that we will be handling when we go to the counties. The beauty of this exercise is that we are able to trace a parcel of land from when it was first alienated or allocated. Mm -hmm. And we are able to tell whether the due process was followed. In cases where the due process was not followed, we will not upload. And then we'll start a different exercise of uh, trying to understand what decision should we now take. A lot of people, unfortunately, may suffer. But what we are trying to do is to create some order, Jeff. In the case of Alex's father, for instance, how did, he, how did someone even subdivide his land? Hmm. It has to be, you know, collu coll uh, cor for corruption to happen, many players have to collude. Mm -hmm. A land officer has to collude, a registrar has to collude, uh, a surveyor has to collude because some, a surveyor, either a licensed or a private surveyor, did the survey, and then now these cartels. So there's a collusion of many players in the sector, and we are saying with this system, it will no longer be possible to do that. Because as a surveyor, the first, the first thing you do when you're documenting rights to land, you plan. So you plan the area, so the first document is a plan. Once you finish planning, you survey. Once you survey, you do the correspondences around it, and then you register that right. As we go to the counties, we are assessing all these documents together. If they tally, we upload the parcel on the platform. If they don't, we put it aside. Those are the parcels of land we are now saying we are creating a different team to interrogate what happened. And hopefully, over the next couple of years, some of these problems will be sorted in that manner. Does that team involve like the DCI or EACC? Yes, it does. Uh -huh. Yes, it does. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah. Francis Gashuri. Oh, his piece was long today. Huh? It was. He writes very long pieces. Okay. I used to fight with him all the time. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but he does good stories. Very good, very good. Yes, very he good. does. So Francis is asking, uh, there are land buying companies that for years have sold the same parcel of land to different people. What's the fate of such buyers? Classic example is Mbakasi Ranching, mm -hmm. which we are now trying to sort. This is a company that was, I think, registered in 1972. That's almost 50 years. Between that 1972 and 2018, when we took over trying to work with them to resolve the issues, they had only recorded 2,000 titles. In how many years? Hmm. 50. It's almost 50. Now, working with them, we have generated about, I think, 25,000, but, but we are cleaning it up. Part of the reason it's taking time is the, the, the issues that Gashuri raises. Overlaps, double allocations, yeah. duplicate titles, all manner of things. It is what we are now trying to clean up. Because even though we worked with, with, a, with a company in documenting these 25,000 titles, when we have tried to upload them in this platform, I told you this is a smart platform. If there are two titles, it will tell you we cannot upload this one because there are two. So it will reject both. And you have to go back and check what is wrong. Mm -hmm. If there's an overlap, it will tell you now we cannot take uh, this uh, parcel because there's a similar parcel, there's an overlap. So that is the beauty of this intelligent platform because it allows you to make decisions real time. So what we did then, when we realized these issues, we took them out. And we are now interrogating them to see which ones are we going to sieve out and which ones will be uploaded back onto the system. Mm -hmm. So this is the beauty of this system. It allows you to make decisions real time. Francis also wants to know, what about private parcels that have cautions by the NLC, the National Land Commission? The cautions will just be migrated on the, on, onto the platform. As I said, this uh, system, once we are ascertained that your data is accurate, it is complete and it has integrity. 
The other encumbrances, we just migrate with them to the platform because the, 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 the record in the system will indicate that this parcel has an encumbrance as a government caveat or an NLC, NLC caveat or a bank caveat, anything. Yeah. It will be on the platform. Speaking of platform, let's go to the magic wall. Yeah. More questions coming in thick and fast. Marianne from Ruai. How are we solving the... Um, oh, I think Mbakasi I've just ranching. explained. Yes, you yes. have. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mbakasi mm -hmm. Ranching. Uh, Nyoike Madhu is asking, can a land be registered to two persons, say a father and son or father and daughter as joint tenants? Yes, they can, I think. Yes, yeah. they can. Oh, Koth from Kisumu. Hi, Jeff. Ask Madame CS if the digitization has any costs that the current landowners will bear. Like, will the current title deed be recalled? There's zero cost to the landowner. The cost of developing the platform and deploying it is taken on 100% by the government. Okay. Uh, from anonymous, <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Anonymous. Yeah. How is she addressing historical land injustices as contained in the TJRC report and the Dungu Land report? Okay, let me address the Dungu Land report because that is mostly public land. As I have said, our documentation processes have set aside all public land, whether they are still in uh, public hands or in private hands. So that we are setting it aside completely. For purposes of future decisions, we will be telling the government or we will be documenting for the government that these pas public parcels of land are in the hands of these individuals because of these reasons. These ones are this way because of... So we have... Each parcel has a sheet of paper we have created right. which details what is wrong with that parcel and proposes a solution to it. And as I said, any parcel we have locked and is not available in the cadaster, that is a future decision. Because at the moment we are concerned with taking the platform live. So if you have a, a land to, a title to land on Wilson Airport, for instance, mm. it will not be there, we'll lock it. Because oh. how did you even acquire a title to land inside Wilson Airport? So those are decisions that we will now come and interrogate going forward. For now, if your title is properly acquired using due process, it will be there. If it is not there, you will come on the platform, go to our customer care agents, they will give you a ticket. And you can come to the ministry and we try to interrogate what is wrong with your parcel. La historical land injustice, I think the question passed, is uh, that's a mandate of the National Land Commission. And I think that uh, anonymous person <laughs> should sure. try and get in touch with the National <laughs> Land Commission, yes. Ambassador Anthony Mwaneki. Yes. He says, uh, pass my kudos to Waziri for sorting out the Embakasi Ranching Company mess. She should make a similar move to any other existing corrupt land buying companies. Mm -hmm. We have a program, Jeff, of uh, working with land buying companies. As you know, land buying companies are really private companies. But the government has stepped in because landowners have suffered for many years without a uh, movement forward in terms of titling. So we, we've decided as government to work with them and engage with them so that we can quickly document uh, the, the, their title. As you know, Jeff, uh, the president has committed to titling the bulk of the country by 2024. So that's a process, a program we are really keen mm. to work with these uh, land buying companies in order to resolve. It's not easy because some of these uh, cases have layers of uh, double allocations, overlaps, yeah. but we keep working with them. What we are doing is we are saying, let's deal quickly with the, the ones that have no issue. And then we come back to deal with these overlaps, the, the double allocation and, and all manner of other issues. Yeah. Maina, address the squatter issue at the coast. The squatter issue at the coast is a big problem, Jeff. We keep uh, working to resettle or to settle squatters there, but uh, it has proven to us to be a moving target because we, we keep settling, but we never really see the end of it. So as government, we are trying to figure out how can we do it on a more sustainable way. So we are trying to, re to reassess the way we settle landless Kenyans. One of the things we are doing in this platform is that we are creating a database so that if previously you have been allocated public land, because we, the, the land we use to settle squatters is public land, then you will not be eligible for allocation of another public parcel. Because the current issue at the coast is you, you settle a squatter here, when you go to the next uh, settlement farm, the same squatter will be mm -hmm. there. So we want to create a, a system uh, through this uh, artist as a platform which allows us to document those who've already benefited from public land. 
so that they are not eligible for future allocations of public land. That way we think we'll be able to close in on, on the squatter issue. But it's a dicey one, Jeff. <laughs> dicey, yeah. and, 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 and again, land is very emotive. Yes, it is. And you're serving notice today, or yesterday, you're serving notice. Things are not going to be business as usual anymore. Yeah, yes, we did, yes. Here's one more about Mbakasi Rancher. Joab says, I lost two quarters in Ruai by an employee of Mbakasi Ranch. I have copies of the receipts I was issued. What happens? I mean... We continue to work with Mbakasi Ranch and Company. As I said, Jeff, it's a private company. We are working with the directors of the company. And it's been fruitful. We started working with them in May of 2018, when the president directed us to work with them. May, May 2018, yes. In that period, we've been able to clear about 25,000 titles. There are still many more, about maybe eight or so thousand, which have the issues such as uh, the ones he raises. Mm -hmm. We are trying to work with the company to see what to do, because some of them, you find that they have allocated the same parcel to three people. And yet we can only issue one title. So we work with them to see who should be the legit legitimate beneficiary of that parcel of land. Some of them are issues of fraud, which we are referring to the DCI. Some of them are beyond the scope or the scope and mandate of the ministry. We, we keep referring to the investigating agencies. But the most of the things that we can resolve, we are working with them to resolve. And as I said, Jeff, between just about three years, we, we've managed to record about 25,000 titles. That's an achievement, seeing as they had done 2,000 in 50 years. <laughs> so you, you can see the scope of the government intervention. And the scope yeah. of rot. Yeah. Look, uh, we've kept you long enough on your very first interview since becoming CS. I hope you don't mind. No, I don't. Because I really want to answer all these questions our cost customers have. Really? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, uh, there's so many. <laughs> there's so many. The ones we've not answered because I think some... Um, well, repeat questions, repeat aren't questions, they, questions, for the most yeah. part. Yeah. Uh, look. There's some people are saying, look, what happens to you after CS? Uh, you, you, once you complete your term as CS, uh, there's rumors <laughs> that you might run for governor of Nandi County. <laughs> no, that's not true. And, oh, and, you've heard that? I, I don't think I can make a good politician. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I, I intend to do other things like teach in the university, oh. maybe serve in other capacities. Yeah. I think I have the skills and uh, the knowledge and the energy to do many things for this country. Do you miss this place? Uh, which I intend to. Occasionally, not, not much, but occasionally. <laughs> Kidogo too. <laughs> I miss the adrenaline. You know, this place is yeah. high adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah. So I miss the adrenaline. But this project has given us a lot of adre adrenaline. You know, the other day my PS was joking that you can actually donate adrenaline to someone else because <laughs> it was too high. <laughs> you can't sleep because of this project, well, but yeah. I'll tell you for, for free, a lot of people miss you here. They miss you and they, the lessons Ask you... them to come to Lance. <laughs> <laughs> come see you at Lance. <laughs> come and do some work there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you are very strict. You are very, you know, you are mm. always telling people the truth. And they mm. appreciated that. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Well done. And, you know, be, be safe. So be safe. It's, Thank you. You've opened up a whole Pandora's box out there. <laughs> you can't put the genie back in that bottle. <laughs> I, I think the train has left the station. Mm. Th this, uh, there's no going back on this platform. Even as I leave, I plan to leave next year. It's a project that government will continue to do, deploy. And I hope that uh, by the time the next election comes, we'll have deployed in a good chunk of the country. And I believe by the time the end of this year comes, the landowners will not allow you to reverse the gains because they will see the benefit and the value of this platform. They've suffered for many years. Surely this platform is, is, is what they've been looking, it's the answer they've been looking for. Mm. The challenges in data, for those whose uh, parcels will not be here, we are available to work with them to bring their parcels on board. That's a process that will take a few months, a few years maybe, yeah. because if we created this mess in 60 years, Jeff, we can't undo it in a short three years. We need a lot more time, we need 10 years, 15 years, for the reforms to be totally ingrained and entrenched. One more question about the size of government land. Just real quick, what's, what, what's the... You know, Jeff, we've just started the process in Nairobi, so we haven't really gone to the rest of the country. One of the, the benefits this platform has, you will have the assets available to the public. 
just at the click of a button. At the moment, if you ask me how many acres does government have, to be honest, I don't know. Because now we have just started the process of documenting properly all assets owned by government, government agencies, MDAs, and, and departments. So we, we, we have started that process. In Nairobi, we have some level of certainty. We know that we have about, maybe about 1,500 good parcels of land that belong to the public. But we are still cleaning the data and the numbers may go up. Okay. As we stretch to the rest of the country, by the time we are, we are done with the project of digitization, Jeff, in, it, it will be a matter of just clicking. It will be a report on the system. If you want to know how many acres does uh, the Ministry of Agriculture own, you will know it's, it will be a report in the system. What is the total acreage of uh, all parcels of land owned by Ministry of Lands, you will know it will be a report in the system. So this is the value of this system. It, it, it improves the quality of decision making. If government is looking for land, for instance, for agriculture or for anything, it will just be a report in the system, where can I get X number of acres in this part of the country? Mm. It will be there in the system. Frida Carne, great to see you. Good to see you, well Jeff. Done. Well Thank done. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Thorough, as always. Thank you. By the way, the platform to go to, if you just missed it, it's ardisasa.lions.go.ke. Yes, it go is. Go there, ardisasa.lions.go.ke. Check it out, register. Take it from there. Real time. 24-7. Wow. Thank you. You have to come back. You have to come back. No, actually, Jeff, you know, I want to undertake to, to report regularly to the country. Because as I said, there are many parcels which will not be on the platform. And we intend to be telling the country regularly what are we doing to bring them on board. Because we will work with these landowners because this is our collective problem as our country. As, our, as a country, This is a problem we have all created. It's, it was not created by one person. All of us together have created the problem. So we must work together to undo the problem and create order going forward. So I'd be happy to come back regularly to report and to see, for you to tell me you are failed here, you are doing mm -hmm. better here, we can improve here. Yeah. We're happy to do that. And as I said, our development team is a team of government. Any change we need to make is instant. We will do it. And you know, when you're talking to yeah. JKL, you're talking to the country, right? <laughs> yes, Jeff, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thank you very much. Thank you. And keep tweeting, Thank folks. You. This is incredible. Yeah. Great questions. Keep tweeting. At Koinanga Jeff, at Citizen TV Kenya. The hashtag is JK Live every Wednesday, 9 p.m. It's all it's about the three letters on the keyboard that follow each other. And by the way, JK Live is powered by Johnny Walker. That's right. 200 years of blended Scotch excellence. Thanks so much for being a part of the show. We'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Are we too late? Are we okay? No, no. Are we I'm in okay. time? We are okay. What about overall the show? Is it a little late? Mm -hmm. A little. A little, yeah. Yeah, well, a little. Sorry, yeah. my bad. Yeah, but I didn't feel it. I yeah. think it was an interesting show. I do I've too. En I've enjoyed it. Your first interview. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Oh my. And I didn't oh even my, use you didn't use the... Extinguish. <laughs> there was nothing to extinguish. <laughs> we'll extinguish the cartels. <laughs> Maybe that. Yeah. Thank well you, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, good luck, and God bless you all. Well done. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> DG Live.